right, continuing on. Beachville Galaxy is finished. Well, not not totally finished. Ghost of the Galaxy is done for now. A new galaxy is the Bubble Breeze Galaxy. Um, I wonder if this is gonna mess with the camera a little bit. It probably will, but you're gonna get the idea of this level anyway. Um, this is through the Poison Swamp. This is the only time you'll ever have to do this galaxy. Um, it is pretty difficult because of the learning curve, but if you know how this thing works, you won't have much trouble with it at all, actually. So, I shall be explaining it so you won't have trouble. Um, so as you can see, the Toad Brigade has crashed. Oh no! Oh, what have they done? Oh, they are the worst team ever, I have to say. I mean, seriously. They don't know what to do with anything. It's always me, seriously. Well, anyway, as that one Toad explained, at least he knows about it. He probably fell into it himself and lost life. Um, if you fall into that swamp, you lose a life. Yeah, it's an instant kill swamp. If you ever take a hit while you're inside this bubble, you, use a, you, you, lose, a, you lose a life. Oh, I should explain this here. Um, uh, here's bubble controls here. Oh no! Fillboard, how's it going? Yes, I can move around the bubble by holding A, but I have to do it while I'm blowing at the bubble. Yeah, that's pretty much it. And to get out get out of a bubble, all you have to do is ground pound. It's pretty simple. Yeah. Uh, if you ever want to go out of a bubble, I don't see why you would ever want to go out of a bubble uh, on this one. Uh, unless you want to take a break at a certain period. But anyway, just uh, blow yourself forward like this. Uh, give yourself a good blow. Oh, wait, never mind. I'm not going to say that. <laughs> Uh, anyway, and uh, yeah, and as you can see, these wind currents, they blow you away. Um, no pun intended there. Okay, maybe a little bit of a pun. Um, you can go against the grain, so to speak, of the wind, against the wind, and I don't know why I said against the grain, because it is against the wind. And you're supposed to collect those pieces of a star, and that's what I'm looking for right here, is a piece of a star. Gimme, gimme, gimme. Oh, and don't worry about touching the walls or anything like that, your bubble won't pop. Uh, it, it's only when you take a hit that your bubble will pop, and then you'll die. Um, so like, don't hit those spiky mines there. You know, that, that, that would be a very wise investment of your safe, safety precautions. I'm just saying, you know, you could, it's up to you if you would like to hit your, uh, if you'd like to drive yourself right into them or not. So, yeah, who am I to say it, uh, what you should do or not, you know? If you want to throw yourself or blow yourself right into a mine, go right ahead. I I'm not going to stop you, I'm, uh, but as for me, I'm going to be avoiding them. And going into the Sling Star, to the next area, Starbats! Woo! Okay, I'm getting a little bit too addicted to those dang star bits. As you can hear, you can hear the twinkle of a star. Talk to this. Oh no, what did you forget to tell me? See, oh, there it is. Uh, that's the thing that I explained to you earlier. You can just ground pound to get out of one. But don't do it above any of the swamp here, otherwise it'll be instant death. Yay, instant death for the loss. <laughs> dang allergies. And now I gotta wait for this wood thingy to... Oh shoot, my pointer wasn't on the screen. It got in the way of uh, my camera setup there. I should say the camera got in the way of it. Ignore that thing! It's not worth the time you waste, especially when you're on camera like this. I think it just gives you, gives you star bits, if I'm not mistaken. Um, go around, follow the thing around. Um, avoid any place that has any of those mines, just to be safe. Um... If you want to take the harder route, you have to go this way. That is what I'm going to be doing. I'm going to be taking the harder route. So, and hurry up and get through there. And, like, you go like that. And this is the harder route. Oh, boy. And it's, bas it's basically a coin heaven, so to speak. And if you didn't take the harder route, you would just end up just going right through here. Uh, so, take the harder route. Only if you dare. Only. Uh, it's not much harder to, to take the harder route, you just have to get there quicker. You could have got that one up over there if you wanted to, and taken a path to get through there. Uh, but I wouldn't recommend that, uh, because of all those mines. Moving objects are a lot harder to dodge than, um, stationary objects. Uh, <clears throat> that's why the harder path isn't really that hard at all, you just have to be fast to get into it. Well, there's your star. 
the galaxy is complete and I added a new chapter to the storybook, but I have more galaxies to go to. And that is one of my favorite galaxies in the entire game. Bowie Base Galaxy. This galaxy has the most epic music, at least in my opinion, in the entire game. Yes, I like it even better than Dusty Garden Galaxy and uh, Good Egg Galaxy. I love it that much more. Well, uh, I love the other two music as well. Just saying that, but I love this one more, believe it or not. Listen to this music. Listen to that awesome theremin. Yeah, in case you didn't know that that uh, the instrument that's making those weird sounds on this one is called the theremin. Okay, see this right here? That is a torpedo Ted. Lead it to this pipe over here. I'm gonna do a secret star first. Lead it to this uh, glass case over here and break it apart. Um, as I said, this will lead you to a secret star. This is like the one of the easiest to find secret stars in the entire game. Um, I'm just saying that there, and then you just follow this path over here. You're gonna need one of these bullet bills here, so uh, feel free to let one follow you right away. And oh no 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 no! Oh, they all blew up. Well, that's okay. Um, you only need one of them anyway. Oh no! Don't all follow me. You're gonna blow each other up. Oh, one survive. One survive. Okay. Now let direct one to blow up this case. Ah! Oh, shoot! You wanted to open up that green star over there. There's only three green stars in the entire game. Uh, and this is one of them. Um, they are, as, as you might know, a rarity, because there's only three. So, you're going to want to collect each and every one, because they are required to get the last uh, three or four stars in the game, I should say. And that's it. There is the special green star. And, hey, okay, gimme, give gimme, give yay! Green star gets... Now that we're back at the observatory, there's going to be a little explanation of the green stars. Of these green stars. They aren't going to be revealing anything just yet. But don't worry, they will be soon enough. Well, at least when I collect them all. Oh no, they have a special power. I must find them all. Oh, the green lumas, I must ask. Okay, now... Uh, that star that you collected basically attracts those green lumas there. Um, three stars for three lumas. Whoops. Oh, I almost fell off there, but that's okay. And once you get all three green stars, they, these guardians of the child galaxies here make this sling star appear, and it'll allow you to fling yourself up to... Will I, will I be able to show it from here? Yeah, this thing right here. That is the child galaxies. Alright, back to the kitchen.